All right, welcome to what will hopefully be the last video where we just straight up go over the topics individually. Um, after this video, um, hopefully starting right away in the after work video, we'll take more of a like holistic approach where I'm using the uh, table of contents of some of the free workbooks I found to basically set up my own scenarios. Um, so let's uh, pull that up and look at those a little bit. Just to get a sense for that. I mean, it's probably a waste of time because I um, just need to work. I could do that in the after work video or whatever, kind of getting ahead of myself. So yeah, let's, let's, let's use the time uh, a little bit more efficiently and uh, not look at this notes folder until after I finish the final topic in COS, which is gonna be CBF. I think that stands for class-based forwarding, but uh, we'll uh, learn that. So of course, unfortunately, if it does not stand for class-based forwarding, I'm gonna have to unlearn <laughs> that, but uh, we can do that. Hopefully that's not a lot of extra work. Okay, so we'll start the same way as every single one. We'll use the help apropos menu that I'm gonna have during the test. Because during the test, as far as I know, we're just getting basically this exact same image of BMX. The only difference is we're gonna get version 19 instead of version 17. But I'm hoping that version 19 is actually better than version 17. I think there is a, a likelihood that it will be as far as the help is concerned. Because version 17 help is pretty bad. Okay, so we got nothing. Let's see if there's anything for class-based forwarding. Okay, so let's do Huh. Okay, so let's go right to a Google search. I'm not sure what they mean by that. Okay, so COS based forwarding. I was uh, close enough, I think. Ah, and we've got a good example to start. Okay, so yeah, I searched for CL, let's try based. I guess that would have been a better one to search for, or base, uh, maybe forwarding. Ah, here we go. Class forwarding classes, so. Okay, so this looks like an important warning. We do not recommend classifying packets into a forwarding class that has no associated scheduler on the egress interface. Such a configuration can cause unnecessary packet drops because an unconfigured scheduling class might lack adequate buffer space. 
For example, if you configure a custom scheduler map that does not define Q0 and the default classifier assigns incoming packets to the best effort class Q0, the unconfigured egress queue for the best effort forwarding class might not have enough space to accommodate even short packet bursts. A default congestion and transmission control mechanism is used when an output interface is not configured for a certain forwarding class, but receives packets destined for that unconfigured forwarding class. This default mechanism uses the delay buffer and weighted round robin WRR credit allocated to the designated forwarding class with a default drop profile. Because the buffer and WRR credit allocation is minimal, packets might be lost if a larger number of packets are forwarded without configuring the forwarding class for the interface. Okay, so let's move on to um, All right, so let's read this and then do the example. You can apply COS-based forwarding, CPF, uh, CBF. Uh, oops, but this is the EX guide. Uh, what guide is this from? Uh, this is from the EX guide as well. Um, hmm. I guess I'm not sure. Okay, so this is configuring COS-based forwarding. Router A has two routes to destination 10.255.71.208 on router D. One route goes through router B and the other goes through router C as shown in figure 1. Configure router A with COS-based forwarding CBF to select router B for Q2, Q0 and Q2, and router C for Q1 and Q3. When you configure CBF with OSPF as the IGP, you must specify the next hop as an interface name, not as an IPv4 or IPv6 address. The next hops in this example are specified as GE200.0 and SO030.0. Okay, so yeah, let's. So we're gonna. So where is this meant to go on? Okay, we're going to configure router A. Oh, and I forgot to do all the administrative work. Alright, so we're going to need one more router.
Okay, so A, B, C, and D. So let's structure it similarly. But we'll use numbers instead of letter, but letters, but we'll keep the same uh, sequence. So that would mean three goes down here and four goes up there. A little bit inconvenient as far as cabling is going, but not too bad. Okay, and it looks like they've got uh, the interfaces listed. They're using, okay, some interesting interfaces. Uh, let me boot this up as soon as possible so it's got as much time to load as it needs. Okay, so let's do 0 to 0 on top, 1 to 1 on the bottom, or you know what we can do, 0 to 1, 0 to 1. Yeah, let's do that instead. So we can, we can have a 0 be on the left and 1 be on the right. Uh, in all cases in this topology. Oh, well, actually, never mind. So we, here on the top, we can have 0 be on the, the top, 1 be on the right, and then here, 0, 1. And then here we can do the opposite. We can do 1, 0, 1, zero so might need some descriptions uh, it's probably going to be pretty darn confusing um, so uh, yep let's start off with the descriptions and uh, we can blank out all the configs as well uh, we're going to have all new configs now this is something that is pretty interesting. It looks like they've got um, three slash 30 uh, networks that are listed, but there's gonna be four links. So it looks like they're missing a slash 30 network. It's pretty unclear which, um, which link that network belongs to. Uh, so I might just go my own way and make up my own networks. You know what, I think I am going to do that. Um, so, but the first step is still to, to wipe and uh, create descriptions. All right, uh, one last router is left, but it's not booted up yet. That's okay. Um, it's not gonna prevent us from working on the descriptions. Okay, so GE000 is on top. Set so description to R2. Okay, and then the bottom. Okay, so let's uh, set up some networks as well. Uh, so uh, family inet address 10.0. Uh, we'll just do 1.1 1 slash 30 and we'll do 1, 2, 3, 4. And uh, let's set up OSPF as well. OK. 
Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm pretty sure that's all that was there. Yeah, this side, of course, from all the... Uh, oh, so they've got kind of interesting extra config there. Uh, we won't need to add everything that they've got there. Um, okay, so let's continue just setting up a, a basic network. We'll do a show route protocols OSPF and uh, we'll see this uh, fill in as we uh, continue to configure the rest of the devices. No, uh, I accidentally configured this under uh, GE000. Um, so let's let's do the the good way of, uh, of reconfiguring interfaces using a show pipe display set relative. Okay, so now that I have the configuration, I can do a delete to zero, and now I can do an edit one and just copy and paste the whole thing look at how fast that is nice fast easy it's perfect okay so now this one goes to router four okay All right, yep, that looks good to me so far. Um, yep, and this is gonna be the dot one. All right, I think we're good to go. Yep, we're more than good to go. Uh, so yep, we're good to go. So it's time for rudder Oh no, so this is actually router 3, I was configuring this thinking it was router 2. Um, so that's not too hard to correct, we'll just do a, um, yep we'll just do this, and then, um, oops, and the other thing is I got, uh, no, okay, yeah everything else is, is correct, yeah. But it's meant for router 2, not router 3. Okay, so let's go and roll it back on router 3 before we commit it. And then commit it on router 2. Oh, uh, but the problem with that is... Oh, no, 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 it's, it's right. Okay, yep. So now it's time to configure router 3. Right, so now there's just one more router to configure, but it's not up yet. Um, so uh, instead of configuring that, we'll go over to router one, which is serving as router A, and we'll add the actual configuration to it. Before I do that though, I need to take a quick break. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Router four still isn't up yet, but uh, that's okay. We can just configure router one in the meantime. There's no verification steps or anything anyways, so I don't think it really matters. 
on. So good news, we got the two networks that weren't directly connected showing up as OSPF routes now. Oh, I see, because you, yeah, so so you've got to use the name of the next interface. Okay, so let's uh, learn what those names got to be. Showing description, apply it match R1. So it's going to be zero here, and then I believe it's going to be one here, but I'll double check. Okay. Okay, so forwarding class. Okay, so next hop. Um, now this is going to be the one going to the top. So in our lab, that's R2. So that's going to be GE001. Alright, so next step is going to be configuring the classifiers. Oh, and uh, they're telling me it's not under class of service, but I don't uh, believe them. Okay, there we go. All right, that looks good to me. Next step is going to be the forwarding classes. Okay, so now we've got to inter oh, it looks like they're only going to configure it on one interface, which seems strange to me that they had next hop commands here. Um, oh, but I don't think they're configuring the actual forwarding policy, they're just configuring the INET classifier, but does that... So I guess I'm, I'm not sure what pulls in this. Okay, it's going to be... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> it's uh, very confusing. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure which interface to put it on. Um, I guess let's put it on uh, GE000. Oh, 
Oh, I see, I see. So it's going to be... Yep. There we go. Okay, so the next step is going to be the policy options. Okay, and then here's just the regular global configuration that I added before starting this. Um, got some special ATM options here for the ATM interface, multiplexing interface. That's, I really hope, not going to be on the test. That's very old school. I think, I'm not sure if there's timestamps on these. Okay, so it's not that old, it's three years old, but I don't, but the uh, ATM, that sort of thing, what didn't show up on the curriculum, I believe. Alright, so let's see if this commits. Perfect, so committed, no problems there. Um, so that is a CBF policy, standing for uh, COS-based forwarding. So you can see it is forwarding based on the COS, I think, as long as it matches that. But uh, yeah, it's kind of um, pretty difficult. Um, you know, if I'm just meant to memorize one of these policies, I don't know if I can do that. Well, I, well, my current my current uh, study strategy is not preparing me to do that, but in some sense, uh, that's kind of the point. You know, that's okay. We're going to be doing the more holistic, putting it all together, uh, memorizing uh, kind of practice uh, beginning in the after work video. Okay, so I really think that's all I'm going to need to do for this one. Oops, we got a uh, router four up now. So I think I'll just set this up because we're probably going to need it later. So we've got a good uh, base config on there. I'm also going to need to license this, so I will do that. And I'll do that off the screen. Okay, so license is successfully added. Um, yeah, so I guess I, I don't know exactly what I want to do for the holistic approach, but I do want to have, I think, eight routers set up for it. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty much done with this topic now. So, um, the next thing I'm going to work on is that holistic approach. So. I think I'm just going to use this time to get those eight routers ready. And I might uh, right here on video um, 
take the honor of marking this off. This is a huge step. I was actually really worried that uh, for some reason I wouldn't ever get here. Um, but it's, it came true and it came true at about the time I had uh, predicted it would, um, pretty much at the exact same time. So now it's really uh, crunch time, really big deal. Um, this kind of practice where I take a more holistic approach is gonna be uh, a bit more challenging, uh, a bit more demanding, but I think it'll get me all the way there to passing the exam. Now I can do what I wanted to do at the beginning of the video, which was just kind of look over some of these uh, free workbooks I found and look at the, um, yeah, so the table of contents. So they even have um, full day scenarios and granted this is gonna be for uh, version 960 instead of version 961, but we, we still got um, three full day lab challenges here. Uh, which I think are going to be uh, pretty darn good even for this new exam. So like here we go, just build an initial system config, build a network, IGP, BGP, MPLS, VPN. Like, I think I know how to do this. Um, Okay, but first things first, let's get um, the lab up and running. Ah, so it looks like this demo version includes uh, chapter five. So it looks like chapter five has, uh, so it's interesting because I saw QoS. So it's got to have more than just chapter five, right? Because there's no QoS in chapter five. Oh, sweet. So it looks like we get the solution to uh, their third uh, all day challenge. So yeah, that's definitely going to be uh, what we're going to focus on. So um, yeah, so cool. That's, that's really good news. Um, so let's switch it over to my drive for this channel. Um, inside here we'll do, do a uh, uh, new and we'll do a folder and we'll say um, lab challenges. Okay, and then, uh, oops, uh, we'll create a new um, folder we'll say uh, uh, oh if there's god damn it it shows up on every page uh, we'll say full day lab challenge three uh, I created a file, not a folder. I wanted to create a folder. There we go. Full day lab challenge three is in my folder. So inside of that, we'll uh, move this, uh, or we'll, we'll copy this. Uh, uh, you know what, let's just move the whole thing. Uh, I'd like to copy it actually, I'd rather not move it. Okay, so now we've got a copy of this, so, uh, and we can rename it, full day lab challenge three. Okay, and now we can move this.
Okay, and uh, there we go. Uh, I'm not sure where this untitled document came from. It'd be nice if I could just delete it, move to trash, but I can't do that. Um, so look, let's go ahead and just create a Google Doc. I should say notes. Okay, that's good to me. And then um, uh, let's uh, open up the full day lab challenge. We'll go solutions. Okay, so here's the physical diagram. Um, for all of the CE routers, and I don't know what this U router means, uh, but for all of these special routers, um, I'm pretty sure we can just use Cisco. Um, it's pretty unclear. Um, yeah, so we've got PE routers. I mean, I, I can't support this number of Juniper routers in my lab, but we can see that there's some that are gray and others that are darker black. So I think the the black ones are going to be the ones that are actually worked on. Um, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine black ones. So let's uh, uh, create, uh, make sure that we've got nine. Uh, set up here okay and then we'll configure all those and then that will be the end of this video Okay, that looks good to me. Uh, next step is going to be blanking the config on these and licensing them. Uh, well, before that, starting them. Um, oh, which will probably take a little bit more time than I have. Um, so I might need to blank and license these in the next video. Oh my god, this is insane. You know what, I might, for the first time uh, I do this, just follow along with the answer key. Um, that might be my first foray into this. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'd love to just be able to sit down and do it all, but that I'm going to need to do that on the 18th. But uh, I just think that's going to be a little bit beyond me right now. I mean, that's the purpose of what I'm trying to be able to do. So if I were already able to do it, there'd be no purpose in trying to be able to do it. So. Okay, so in the meantime, I think I can go back to my notes folder.
Yeah, and then I have some uh, compiled notes here. And a reference guide. Yeah, so this looks really good. So I think I'd like to uh, to do something with this. change the background. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to, uh, I think, uh, copy this and then uh, edit it to make my own. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so this is mine, so let's open it in Google Talks and uh, rename it. We'll call it uh, config exercises. Okay, and then um, on, on my copy of this, I'm going to get rid of all this. I mean, it's good to know, but um, we're going to, you're going to see what I'm going to do here. Um, and then uh, I, I'm not sure why it's uh, black like this. Yeah, I, ideally I'd like to get it more visible than this somehow. So is there like a background? Something like that. I mean, I guess what I can always do is just make a new one, a new a new text document. I mean, I've already got one uh, here. Is that going to work? Okay, yeah, so that's going to work. Um, yeah, let's do that, and then that'll be a, a decent uh, typing exercise as well. Um, so we'll create a under this here we'll do uh, uh, config like this uh, config snippets 
Yeah. Is that the right word? Snippets? Oh, there's an E. Okay, so we've got config snippets. Um, so hopefully this gets uh, organized really well. Um, let's see if we can do like some sort of uh, tool for uh, table of contents or something like that. Ah, here we go. So yep, let's uh, open up a uh, yep a, a table of contents with uh, links. So we're gonna add uh, the headings to appear in my table of contents. So we're gonna add in infrastructure. Um, See, this is this is the problem with this is it doesn't clearly uh, like I can't tell if you can't tell if these are all nested under infrastructure or if they're all their own. Okay, let's make them all their own then. Oops, uh, oh, there we go. Okay.
Okay, so I think that's going to be it. Um, you can kind of get the idea of what I'm doing. I've got these config snippets here that uh, a coworker uh, put together. Somebody I had been studying this uh, that that had been working towards this test as well. Uh, at my prior employer, I didn't ask him if I could use this in the video. But uh, anyways, um, we're going to, uh, to to take good use of this. Um, he took it twice. Uh, I don't think he passed it. He might have taken a third time and passed it. But he, if he even got you know half the points, that's going to be uh, a good foundation to start from. So, uh, and then hopefully I'll be able to to tell if there's anything incomplete from here. But I, I really haven't done any route memorization yet, so uh, I think uh, that's going to be part of what I do next to the study now that I'm done going through each topic one by one. Okay, so stay tuned for the next video where I completely change my approach to how I'm studying from a piece by piece approach to a more holistic approach. I'll be doing uh, memorization exercises and I'll be doing full uh, full day lab challenges. All right, see you in the next video.